Let me know if you guys can hear me and I will get this show on the road. I'm not seeing myself yet come through on YouTube. So this will be, we shall see what happens. Definitely know once uh, you guys can hear me. I see, okay, I see me. So I'm gonna turn this puppy down. Okay, let me know when you guys can hear me, see me. The works, the works, you know? Yeah, so that was Dvorak 9, the final movement. Welcome to Classical FM, hosted by Patrick. As long as you guys can hear me, let me know if you guys can hear me, and we will get this show on the road. Yeah, I've played this piece a few times. Uh, the first time I butchered the fourth movement's um, solo, I did the uh, did did the old cack that high high B. Oopsies, my bad. Perfect. So you guys can hear me. So I'm just gonna keep talking then because. That's what this show is is going to be. So this is a live Q&A, um, mainly focused around uh, the book that I wrote, The Horror and Warm-Up Guide, um, which is this little ditty right here. You can buy the digital version or the hard copy, which will be shipping out ASAP. And that'll be a nice signed copy. I'm going to leave a nice message. So if you buy that one, make sure you leave me a note. Um, so if you have any questions about the warm up or just in general that you want to ask, that would be that's what the stream is for. So uh, welcome to to this live stream. Welcome to my my office, which is a bit of a mess right now. This bucket, where's my hand? There it is. This bucket here is for salt water from my aquarium that's sitting just just uh, it's just there. <laughs> so welcome to my office, folks. Oh, and you can see the at the bottom of the stream, uh, if you use the code stream, uh, you can get 10% off if you order the uh, guide while you're watching this stream, which I would really appreciate. So you get you get 10% off as a thank you from me to you. Um, so I'm just looking at the chat here. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you, you, you give them to me because I don't really have that much to talk about. I can go through the book if we're, we're searching for questions, but... Um, you know, questions would be encouraged for sure. <laughs> um, I'll just I'll just start going through the book. So we'll start with the cover page. Um, the cover. Um, I don't know if you guys ever watched The Office, but I really like the font Helvetica. So this is Helvetica, but I but it's bold. <laughs> this is basically quality content hashtag quality content for all eight of you that are here welcome um you have any questions please bueller 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 questions bueller hey, let me go live on instagram as well because i can just multitask like that that's a smart idea there we go i'll put you there there we go double live stream okay okay welcome oh oh instagram has a really bad angle oh down below is not a good angle okay so double live stream they're telling all my friends the chat has gone quiet here on youtube um so i'm live streaming for anyone coming up on the instagram I'm live streaming on youtube and uh, i just went live on instagram just because why not we're going to be talking about the uh Horn hang the horn warm up book. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. A question. Thank you, Jonathan. What inspired you to write a warm up book? Uh, was it for a degree or just a passion? That's a fantastic question. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, so I wrote this horn warm up book because I get questions every day on my channel about how I warm up and or how I practice. And I think warming up is a huge part about or a huge part of practicing because it's it's how you start your day like you don't see an athlete just start running their 100 meter mar or 100 meter race without starting and so i wanted to write a warm up book to get um, students that are just starting out to more advanced it was just a it was a passion project really um, i've always wanted to write it down because as i mentioned in the video quickly that i literally have never seen my what i do 
before I warm or before I practice. Like I've never seen my warm up written down because I've literally haven't played it off page in years. Like I, some of these studies were never written down. They were just kind of developed by myself. And then some of them, I don't even know where, like, I don't even know what the origins of them are, but say la vie. And then the stretching is just stretching. So there's some stretching routines in this book because every once in a while you want to be, um, you want to be loose and limber. Um, yeah, so this this book is definitely designed around all skill levels, which is pretty cool uh, because I, I've been doing this yoga program that is really inclusive. So it's the same routine for everybody, but you have the option of um, not emitting, but doing modifications. So if you can't do it right now, then just kind of mark it down and then you improve for the next time. Um, a lot of the stuff is pretty easy. Like the first two three, four, five, the first five pages are pretty simple. Um, and then scales, you have to learn scales and they're two octave scales. So you can always start where you're comfortable and go from there. Um, I try to be super, super inclusive as I understand that a lot of my audience is younger. So I wrote it in, with that in mind. Um, and then in the book as well, I put a lot of younger student oriented, uh, uh, what's it called? Logs. So I put practice logs so that if the teacher wants to see them practicing, uh, that was inclusive. I always used practice logs because I am terrible at remembering what I would practice. And then I would go into my lesson and my teacher would say, what, what's, uh, what's going on? Like, what did you do this week? And I wouldn't know. So that would always be fun. So that's why I designed it. Um, oh, I didn't mention on Instagram, anyone watching on Instagram, if you're on YouTube, you'd see it. Um, if you use the co um, coupon code uh, STREAM, capitals, all capitals, uh, you can order this warm-up book for 10% off while I'm streaming. So that's pretty fun for you guys. Yeah, so let's go through. Some, um, let me find an Instagram question here. Um, and hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. I see you all. I'm just trying to multitask 600 things at once. I'm so sorry if I'm ignoring anybody saying hello. Um, does the duck talk, does the book talk about how long a normal warm up usually takes or how long do you think a normal warm up should be? I don't talk about how it, how long it should be. Um, I just stress that it should be at least 10. Well, I guess I do. I, I say that it should be 10 to 20 minutes, depending on skill level. Like my, I think this, if you do it all the way through, it takes about uh, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on if you go back and do it. So a lot of them, I, I write one down, but I say, if you want to alter it, which I usually do. If you want to alter articulation, you want to transpose anything, which you should also practice. Uh, those are always the options. So it can be as long as you want it to be, which is kind of fun, I think, especially if you don't know how to transpose. A lot of them are simple. So this is a good way to practice your transposition skills and stuff like that. Uh, if you're watching both streams at once, you people are impressive. Um, do you know how to play other instruments like the mellophone? Uh, nope. I never learned the mellophone. I'm pretty sure I would be able to play it if it's that French horn mouthpiece mellophone. I don't really know much about it. I was never in marching band because it wasn't really a thing where I am from. Like where what area I was in is just orchestra and like wind band or band, like high school band. So I never really got mellophone. But I did play the Barry sax in a ska band in high school. So that's fun. And like a jazz band too. So I, I played Barry Sax. I know how to play guitar. There's a guitar. If you're on the YouTube stream, um, you can see the guitar. If you're on the Instagram screen uh, stream, you cannot. But I play guitar. Um, yeah. So but horn is horn is the one that I most mostly play. Um, so you, those asking about if this is beginner, it's definitely beginner. If you do get it. You can do this from a beginner, I believe. There's no fingerings listed, which um, I thought about, but um, I wanted to make sure it's inclusive. So if you are a beginner, you can go through and mark fingerings if that's something you're still learning. But I think it is, I, I, I would give this to a beginner and start them out on certain things, and then you can grow. Uh, you will obviously not be able to play the high E's, which I can't even play. The high E's in one of the exercises, which is, is just there as kind of like comedic relief, I thought. Um, it's just there in case someone can do it because I'm sure a lot of people playing will do it. So I just put it in for them and then beginners can learn scales from this, um, arpeggios and the arpeggios that I put in this, um, I can't remember if I've ever made a video on it. The arpeggios that I made, um, 
they're all like you don't have to change your fingering so it's pretty great in that regard that you can just learn the sounds of them without having to worry about what fingerings you're using so i think you could definitely play this as a beginner i think i've said that at least a hundred times <laughs> i should i should have mentioned it more in the release video which is why i think i'm making this one just to clarify a lot of stuff any questions you have um yeah uh and also in the book i did put a few um like text portions so you can kind of get a feel on how i think about things and then for the stretching there's a stretching section i know very unique i put a youtube link and it's a short link so you should be able to type it out and find it pretty easily i don't think anyone's seen it yet let me go to my let me go here and see if anyone's seen it i don't think anyone's watched this the stretching routine yet which i don't blame you it's it's qual hashtag quality content you know we're just on that hashtag quality content role here uh let's see uh nope no one has seen it i haven't even watched it <laughs> uh i made it and i do it so <laughs> yeah um example of some of the warm-ups okay okay so let's see which one should i talk about so my favorite one um is in is called interval dances <laughs> i was trying to come up with like creative names for these um like one of the like one of the sections is called long tones with power. Uh, one of them is called wake up tongue because <laughs> it's just how I think, and I think it's a lot of the way a lot of people might think. I don't know when you're warming up in the morning and you're like bleh, 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 like your tongue's not working. You just want to be like, come on, wake up, bleh, 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 wake up tongue. So there's that. So interval dance is one of my favorites, and it is where um, you play intervals that are slurred. It just feels really good though. <laughs> I can't really I can't play hard right now because I'm pretty locked into the spot. You can't see it, but there's a bunch of wedding shower presents, so I don't really want to move because I'm locked and loaded here for the stream. Um, I'm going to be making video series on the warm up, so I'll start like I'll just have different like part part one, part two for each of the warm up routines. Um, as people start to purchase it and as I start to get the hard copies rolled out because that will be fun signing all of the um, signed copies that'll take some time so I don't really have time to make those videos yet as I just wanted to get this book out before um, it was too late I don't know I put a release date in my brain and it I don't know that's how I roll <laughs> okay any any questions comments concerns Instagram chat how are you doing if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to let me know. Um, I'm trying to answer everything. I've got two different streams going on at once, so if you can keep up to both of them, that's pretty impressive. Um, I can hardly keep up to them, and I'm running them both. And I have this book. Um, if you're just joining now, if you go on to the... Oops, sorry. Sorry, microphone. Uh, if you go on to the store, you can get 10% off um, using the code STREAM. Uh, to purchase your warm-up guide. So, I don't know. I sh I'm sure I've answered this a bunch of times already in this stream. I'm I'm pretty um, clueless in the regards to remembering what I've said in life. So, I'll go through it again. Um, I warm up. Y you have to warm up every day. Um... I think it's really important to playing the horn. Um, and I'm not musical enough to make a scale book. Or not scale book, like a study book. So a warm-up book was what I always have been thinking about making because I have a specific warm-up that I do every day. Um, I usually, like, I can do this watching TV while I'm warming up. I can do this um, pretty autonomously. So I can just get in the practice room, run through my warm-up, make sure everything's in check. And then I'm good to go for the rest of the rehearsal. And so I would have different warm-ups for different times. So if I was running late and I showed up to rehearsal and I had 10 minutes, I had a 10-minute version of what I was doing. And I mentioned this all in the book. So if you need to stop at a certain point, you can do that. Or you can omit certain things depending on skill level. So it's a pretty inclusive book, uh, which I think is great. One of the fun things is scales and some of you might say, but Patrick, I really don't like scales, and I feel you, which is why you should do them. Um, 
if you don't like scales and or you're not good at them, it's definitely something that you should just start start getting on, you know? It's a really exciting thing to do, especially when if it's not something you're great at, it's definitely better to get going. Just do one scale a day is what I mentioned. If you just do half of the, half of each scale, you just do anything and it's better than nothing. Um yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um Let's see any questions. I'm getting a lack of questions Instagram. If you have any questions, I'm I'm watching you too. So uh let me know if you have any questions at all about the book and or just about horn playing in general. I'll be happy to answer them. Um while while you have me here, you know. Just with you on the stream. I don't need these. What do I need headphones for? Um mouthpiece buzzing warm ups. That was something I was thinking about doing as well, but I never really um did buzzing warm ups that well because the first time I did them see buzzing warm ups they can go really wrong. Uh if you if you're not really taught how to do them, um you can start practicing it wrong and it messes up your whole embouchure. So I didn't want to put a buzzing warm up because if someone messes it up, um then I would feel really bad. Uh, because it's kind of a, you need to have a teacher and they need to be with you there so that they can ensure that your embouchure is in check. So you're not, you're not ruining anything because uh, I don't want you to ruin anything. So I don't have any buzzing warm ups in the book, but I do have some that I will definitely be making some videos about. And if there, this book is loved and welcomed, maybe there'll be a version two where I can include some buzzing warm ups and stuff like that. And uh, hello from Colorado. Hello from Canada. Thanks for thanks for joining the chat. And then does the book go over how to practice the chromatic? So yeah, I have um, a chromatic scale at the end and I call it a chromatic conclusion, just kind of a dramatic close, but chromatic because I'm, I'm punny like that. Um, and yeah, I have a two scale chromatic um, warm up that I really like to do. It just feels really good in your fingers and it's kind of how I like to end it because I go through it really fast and it just feels really good. So I put it at the end so that you guys can uh, go really fast and feel really good. And there is a tonguing exercise. Um, I call it wake up tongue. And it's a very simple exercise that you can just um, do once through, see how you're feeling. You go slower, you go faster. You can double tongue or you can single tongue the whole thing. And it just kind of gets you aware of what your tongue's doing. And then if you do it every day, you can notice if something's going different, if something doesn't feel quite right. And then it, it just it's just a good time had by all. Um... Going to, to Don's this I don't know what Don's is. What's Don's? I'm not going to Don's this weekend because I don't know what it is. Going what's what's Don's? <laughs> Anyone know what Don's is? Because I sure don't. Don's Music Land? That's the first thing that came up was Don's Music Land. And welcome everybody who is joining the chat. We're on both YouTube and Instagram. So, oh, <laughs> oh, it's Max. No, I won't be. Th I will not be there because I'm working this weekend. So yeah. <laughs> and then okay, how, can you make a video on how to practice the chromatic in the future? I definitely can. Um, yeah, that'd be a good idea. So I can put fingerings in it because that's kind of important for chromatic. Uh yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you for your your chat, your message. Yeah, <laughs> notice because you said, "Guess who's back, 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 back again?" I started singing that in my head. <laughs> Welcome to the hashtag quality content live stream, where Patrick doesn't really know what he's gonna say, but he's here, live in front of fifteen people. <laughs> If anyone has any questions, if you're just joining now for the first time, let me know what questions you have. Any horn covers in progress? I always have them in progress. It's just finding the time to cover them, to write them. Um, yeah, it takes so much time to do them. And then it's there's some in the works. Yes. Yes, there is.
Okay, okay. Have I talked about the whole book? I guess I could show you some parts of the book. So something that I was proud of when I made it was the uh, the horn practice log. And you can buy the template for this practice log too. I'll just show you quickly here. So it's just this practice log where you can log your practicing into the into your notes so you can see what you practice and how you feel. Uh, kind of a cool thing because if if you're not really sure what you practiced the day before, it's kind of pointless, right? Oh, we got some people from Texas. What's up? What's up? Uh, hey, Texas Horn here is a good solution to getting rid of people who ask why you need to warm up for so long, dropping the book on a wooden table and letting the sound ring for multiple seconds. For sure. Um, yes. I, I, if anyone's telling you that you shouldn't warm up, um, I would just point to any anything <laughs> like sports related or, or or anything that you need to involve moving your body and then and then show them that they warm up i think i think that's a pretty silly thing to say like you don't need to warm up because you do i think um i think if you don't warm up you're going to cause some injuries it's if you look up long term um like they're not going to be injuries that happen every day which is why i think people don't believe that you should warm up but I think, but there are injuries that will slowly build up over time, and then you're just gonna not be able to play for some reason, and you won't know why. And I would always say you should just start warming up. You know? Uh, yeah. Do you usually play on F or B flat fingerings? I do whatever is right at the time. So depending on the passage that I'm playing, um, I'll play whatever will get the note the most efficient efficiently or um, sounds the best, or it, it always depends on what it is. I usually abide by the classic fingerings. So I will play B flat starting on A second space, and B flat pretty much all the way up. I rarely do F up there. I, um, I probably never do F up there. Um, and then I play on the F side, like G, F, E, but some, but sometimes at E, I'll also play a lot on B flat. It just depends how I'm feeling that day, um, or if the passage sounds better. Like if you're playing with players who are playing a bit sharper that day for some reason, you can just play on the B flat side, and that's kind of an easy fix. But you know, um, a lot of mellophone questions. How the heck do you start on mellophone, then go to horn? That's the opposite. Oh, I think you're saying. Oh, we got a bass trombone player in the in the chat. What's up, bass trombone player? Um, so yeah, I've never played mellophone. So all these mellophone questions that I oh, I literally always get mellophone questions, and I feel so bad that I can't answer them because I've never played mellophone. So sorry about that. Uh, more mellophone. This is me reading the chat. I guess <laughs> that's a good question um someone commented didn't a famous cso principal once say i never warm up because i never cool down that's an interesting principle um there's also the method that like if it works it works um if you've never warmed up i'm sure they have a warm-up they just don't call it a warm-up like they start their day they don't just go into it cold i'm sure if they do, then that's impressive. And if they've never had any performance-based injuries, then all power to them. Um, but it's also an interesting thing that if they're playing 24-7, sure. But I, I, I feel like there is a warm-up of some sorts. It's just not of the traditional sense. Like maybe they run through one thing. If it feels good, it feels good. If it works, it works. That's also the thing. But the reason I wrote a warm-up book was because I don't want you guys to get hurt while playing... Not playing improperly, but not preparing yourself for the day of playing, especially those of you who are going into university or something and haven't experienced practice, having to practice for three hours and then going to a two hour rehearsal, having a church gig at the end of the night because it's Christmas time and you're just going to get church gigs all the time. Um, those kind of things where it just creeps up on you like you never played that much, but you've also never warmed up. So you, you've never had to warm up because you're only playing for maybe an hour a day and maybe that's what your body can handle. But when you start to play more hours in the day or you want to start playing more hours in the day it's uh 
it gets a bit sketchy. You know, that's why I wrote the warm up book. Greetings from Germany. We play Where Never Lark or Eagle Flew. And I am really struggling with some high notes. Do you have any, do you have some advice for me? I do. Um, I'm the worst at giving advice because my advice is the way that I've always learned things. And that's if you can't do it, start doing it, which is terrible advice. But to me, it makes a lot of sense. So if you can't do it, you need to start working on doing it. Um, and as it so happens in the horn warm up book, who would have known that I was going to talk about the horn warm up book and incorporate it um, into this stream? I didn't. I have, an, I have um, a warm up called the interval dance. And this is how I've gotten the range that I've had. This is the literally the exercise that has got me there. Um, so you start doing seconds. I, I always start on middle C or low C. Um, and then so it starts on seconds and then you start working your way up. And then once it starts to once you start to feel a lot of pressure and or just is uncomfortable to play, um, then you stop and then you reset back at middle C and then you do thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, sevenths and then octaves. And then you just start to get really good at, at um, intervals. And then you're also ex expanding your range because you're just you're playing middle C. Let's say where you're doing six. You're just playing middle C and then going up to A and then back to middle C and then doing a little, a little just like a return setting thing. Um, so you're doing the you're sh you're stretching. It's just like I'm going. Eh, I'm gonna stretch up and back down. Relax. So it just builds up. It just slowly you start to build up this um, this this range that you might not have had before, um, which, and I, I seriously account this exercise to my range because I, before I was introduced to it, my range was okay. Like it was good, but it was always uncomfortable. But then when I started doing these intervals, I felt locked into those intervals and those notes. So I, I think that really helped. Um, it's also a plug for my book or my warm up. Uh, so I got Germany decent thing to help switch from mellophone to horn would be to use the mouthpiece adapter. Oh, the more mel mel more mellophone. I'm sorry, I can't answer that. Listen to Austin. I don't know much about the mellophone. Can I give two quick questions? You can give 100 quick questions because I need to answer some questions. Those in the Instagram chat. Um, I'm also listening to you. So if you have any questions, please type them in your in your chat. Um, yeah, uh, that's what I can, I'm just going to start talking about this mellophone thing because it's why I I've never played it is because I was always under the impression that the mellophone used a trumpet mouthpiece. And I think that's true unless you get a French horn mouthpiece mellophone. Some of them have a smaller lead pipe, I think. I don't really know <laughs> because I never really looked into it because I just I just never needed more than the horn. You know, my one true love never needed more. But um, yeah, where's the warm up guide? You can go um, through the link in the description. It should be there. If it's not there, then my bad. Um, if it if it's not there, you can go to the most recent video that I just posted, and you'll find it there. Triple horn. Do I prefer triple, double, single, or Wagner tubas? Double horns all the way. I don't think anyone ever needs more than a double horn if you're just a normal player. Um, uh, double horn will do everything and then some for what you need for the day. Uh, triple horn is triple the weight. And there's not too much an advantage unless you're doing a lot of high playing and you need um, just a little bit of a kick. Um, the triple horn is basically for those who, who need it, you know. I, if you know you need it, then you get it. And if you need it, then you have the money for it. <laughs> so other than that, I would never really look into getting a triple horn. I think a double horn will suit everything you're ever going to need. Yeah. Okay, let's see more questions. Hello from Czech Republic. Hello. Thanks for coming from Czech Republic. That's pretty sweet. I, I, I've never really looked into Czech Republic. I could go to Czech Republic. Sometimes. <laughs> no. Sometimes I just talk out loud, you know? Sometimes you just talk about what you think. So far, no one has has used the stream code discount. It's there, ten percent off. If you if you use the stream code, you get ten percent off your your warm up book order, which is pretty sweet. You know, pretty sweet. Uh, 
Uh, how do you stop your lip from swelling up really bad? I think you're just using too much pressure. Um, I think regardless of the switch back from mellow to horn, I think if your lips are swelling, you're pressing your horn in your mouth way too hard. And I think that will be, uh, I think that, uh, I think that will be the, the first source I would look into. If your lips hurt, you're not doing something right. Um, unless maybe you're allergic to the mouthpiece, that could be a cause. But if it's like inf getting inflamed and like sore because you're pressing on it, that would be the first clue I would look into. Um, if you're switching from playing super tight on your lip into less tight, you're gonna not you're not, you're not gonna sound very good for a while. Um, it's a switch that you need to you need to just bite the bullet and do. Maybe start over the summer by releasing tension. I always there's this tool I can't remember the name of it. I'll try to find it. Um, that's like a spring. And if you do too much pressure, it stops the sound from coming out, which I think is a pretty good trick for that. I'm going to go do kin kin kinematics work for the next. I don't know what kinematics is. Let's Google that while we're here. What's kin? I don't know what kinematics is. Is that a science thing? Oh, that looks complicated. No, thanks. No, no, no. Oh, oh dear. None of that. Enjoy your kinematics homework. Again, those of you on Instagram, welcome to welcome to the stream. Oh, often. Uh, that's a tricky one because I don't I don't think it's a good idea to play more than one brass instrument. I think if you're going to play two instruments, it should be a wind instrument and a brass instrument because uh, it's totally different facial muscles that you're using. I think the more you do it, the better you get. Like I know someone who is incredibly amazing at both trombone and horn and he can play them both better than i can in concert by like switching one piece he's on trombone one piece he's on horn and he's incredible at both of them and he's he it, it's just mind-blowing so I, but i think he just has always done that um i wouldn't recommend playing two brass instruments so that's uh, that's that's how I feel about that. Am I going to any horn conventions? He says conversations, but I'll I'll autocorrect and become conventions as of late. If not, do you have a meetup planned? Um, no and no. <laughs> um, I would love to go to the International Horn Symposium this year, but it's in Europe, which is too far for me to go. Um, I do and I really love conventions. I doesn't matter what the convention is i usually just want to go to them uh, i don't have any plan to go i don't have any meetups planned because i don't know where where would be the best place to go um, i don't know who wants to see me i'm i'm not i'm not the most exciting person you know <laughs> also if you ever see me if you think you see me in public fun fact you're gonna be like that guy's way shorter than i thought and that that'll be true oh, his instagram angle is terrible um, I've actually switched from tuba to French horn multiple times and didn't did that just fine. Then you are amazing. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I never, I just, it's just two different. It's, it's a beast that I never really did. Um, because it, I wanted to make sure that my horn playing was the best it could be. So I just concentrate on that. And then I learned saxophone just because, um, it was like an extra course in high school. Yeah. Do you have any recommendations for orchestra excerpts such as books? I sure do um i don't i think i have it linked on my youtube channel let me just see horn warm-up guy let's go into the things i do have a horn excerpt book um the best resource i should say this first the best resource for horn excerpts is hornexcerpts.org um, it has all the excerpts that you'll probably need to start out it doesn't have any of the obscure ones um, and it also has like four different recordings of each one. So if you play in Europe, you'd want to play with the European orchestra because they play a bit differently. Or if you want to play, pretend you're playing with a Chicago, Chicago symphony, you hit that one. And then it has the, the excerpt. And then you just download them because they're all public domain. So you can just kind of yoink. Thank you. And uh, that's probably the best resource. There is a book. Um, but if you're looking for a free resource, that's the one I would recommend is hornexcerpts.org. I think it's on the International Horn Society page now i think it got moved over but that one's a great resource um especially if you don't want to spend any money horn excerpts.org i think you contribute if you do want to throw some money at them i think you can contribute or just subscribe to horn or the international horn society 
that's also a good option but yeah seems like a lot of you can switch over from different instruments and I I commend you I just it just never seemed in the cards for me so I never did it it just seemed too hard not too hard but I just wanted to make sure I just I just love the horn I didn't, I didn't need any other instrument in my life you know <laughs> let's see any questions if you're just joining on Instagram welcome to the welcome to the live stream I'm on YouTube and Instagram live streaming right now so if you have any questions leave them and I will make sure to try to get to them um, we're in a bit of a question lull right now so uh, please ask me questions please please ask me questions Check. Check one, two. <laughs> um, let's see if there's anything else I can talk about my book. Um, I'm pretty much talked out of it. Welcome to the chat. It's new people. Hello, MJ owns you. Welcome to the chat. Um, if you're just joining now, if you are on the fence about purchasing the book, if you use the code STREAM, get 10% off while I'm live streaming so you can take advantage of that which is pretty sweet hello to all the new people on Instagram I'm on both Instagram and YouTube so if I'm not paying attention to you it's because I'm looking at the other's chat uh, yeah how long have you played horn I think I've played horn for 10 years uh, let me go back okay 2009 2010 2011 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 11 years I've been playing horn for 11 years uh, it seems like way short over time. I've always been saying, I've said like nine years for the past 10 years. So uh, if I, I would still, I'd still argue that I've been playing horn for nine years for some reason. But, you know, it looks like it's been 11 years. Thank you for your question. Um, yeah. If anyone has any questions, please leave them in the chat. I will make sure to get to them. Um, if you want to go check out the horn book, it's available there. Hey, Steve, my cousin Steve's in the chat. Everyone say hello to Steve. We had a band camp at work and a woman who is a fan of your channel. That's so cool. How crazy is that? Small world. We stretch worldwide and British Columbia. Completely off topic, but what's your favorite movie? Ooh, that's a good question. We're we're stretching for questions here, folks. So ask you can ask those questions. What's my favorite movie? Ooh, I really like. Um, off the top of my head, I really like The Martian. That's a pretty sweet movie. Um, I don't know. I like a lot of movies, and the movies that I like, I watch over and over again. Hey, do you ever get those days where a certain note just doesn't come out? Sure, we do. We all get those those days where. Notes don't come out, especially the low ones. Yeah, as you said, the low notes. Sometimes they just won't come out, and you're like, what's going on here? And that's why you can switch fingerings or something like that, and then that sometimes helps. It just might be, maybe there's a piece of gunk stuck in your horn. It could be something like that, you know? It, it's something that is just, it's just fickle. Hey, someone took advantage of the discount. Right, right, right. Yep, stream discount. There he goes. There you go, Austin. You're the first one to get the stream discount warm-up book. Congratulations. You're the number one. <laughs> Very nice. Way to take advantage of the stream chat or the stream code. If anyone else wants to use the stream code, 10% off the horn warm-up book. What's your favorite kind of videos to make with the horn? I really like educational videos because I th that's why I started um, this channel was because when I was in high school, there was Mark making videos on YouTube um, and he was just so good that you're like, how am I ever going to be that? Uh, so I've always wanted to start making educational books and or not books, tutorials, which is really what led me to this book because I wanted to write a warm up guide so that you would have a reference to follow along with. Um, yeah, that's. I just like to help people get better because there's no reason for people to strive to be better than everybody else. Let's just 
we can we can rise together you know become as good at, like i'd rather everyone be the best that they can be um so yeah so i'd, I'd like to start making more educational videos they don't do as well that's for sure uh, but, but that's not why i'm in it so I, I do enjoy making the loop ones um with the copyright stuff that's going on on youtube it's been why i've been a bit hesitant to start doing that like covers and stuff because it's just a pain they just get flagged right away and then they don't get as much attention blah 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 just all that fun stuff so it's hard to really decide what's an alternate to low a that's a good question uh thumb three would work uh boom, boom, boom. yeah i guess thumb three because it'd be just be one and two thumb one and two wouldn't work that would pop out a d you wouldn't want that I guess thumb three would be the only one. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I'm having a trouble. I'm having trouble thinking about it. Welcome everybody to the chat who is just starting to come in. Uh, we are doing some live Q and A about the new Horn Warm Up book. And if you use the code Stream for you get ten percent off while I'm live streaming. So you can take advantage of that if you would like to. Um, other than that, just let me know what questions you have. And I will answer them because that's that's what we're doing here. Just having some fun, answering some questions, taking names. Um, I keep looking over at my fish because they're fun. I put a I put a fake anemone in there. There's two clownfish, and I put a fake anemone in, and they they don't seem too too thrilled about it. So that that's that's my day. <laughs> if you have any questions, please please ask me. Um, I'm here to help. And or answer any any questions corn related, or just a chat. You know, I finally got the ch the last time I live streamed, the chat was not working. It was so disappointing because people were ready and talking in the chat, and it wasn't working. So that was a bummer. But it's working today. I need to figure out how to change the tech. I don't want the color to be all pink. I want them to be different colors for everybody. I don't know how to do that though. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see if I'm smart enough. Probably not. Font settings, text color, font settings. I don't know how to do that. How do I, how do I, I don't know. I'm just not smart enough, you know? I can make the, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. I don't know. The questioning has slowed down, so you can just get me bantering about nothing. I'm sorry. You, you're just going to have to be along for the ride, folks. I think I'm going to be ending the stream soon. So if you do have any questions, please let me know. E I think he's talking about pedal, but I think you can also do it on thumb three, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have a... My horn's all the way over there. I can't get to it comfortably. I think you can do it on thumb three. It's usually on one and two, yes, but if it's not popping out, maybe it just needs some, uh, or maybe it just needs a little B flat trigger to make everything everything better, you know. Sometimes you just gotta do it. What's the highest note you ever hit? Ooh, that's a good question. Hey, and I can tie in my horn warm up book. So when I was doing the what in the warm up book is called, um, what's it called? I can't remember what I called it. The interval dance. So the interval dance warm up. When I was doing fifths, I really like the fifths. Um, and fourths. When I was doing the fifths, I was playing comfortably at like a high high G, which was just bonkers. Um, and I could never play it in like a normal day, but in this warm up, it's designed to like work around. Um, it's designed to work around those kind of thing, like not those kind of. Th it's designed to work. <coughs> Let me just figure out how to talk English here for a second. It's designed to like emphasize your high notes. Like it's designed to help you hit your high notes. So when I was doing um, the horn warm up interval dances that's in my book, um, it helped me get those notes. I wouldn't recommend playing that note all the time, but um, I did it, and it wasn't it wasn't too bad. But then you have to reset because when you play high notes, it's a lot of pressure. So I tend to just play up to high C. Sometimes I'll fill around at D, but I I won't go much higher because I just don't want to hurt myself. Um, it's all about the long game, you know? Whoa, see that light? 
anyone coming on Instagram, welcome to the live stream. I'm live streaming on both Instagram and YouTube. So I'm sorry if I'm not 100% paying attention to you. I apologize big time. Uh, I'm just trying to do 300 different things at once. And it's working out really well. <laughs> um, has anyone here got the book? Oh, thanks, Tom, for just picking it up. I teach grades 4 to 8. Oh, that's amazing. This is... I, I hope we can help. That's why I also included the digital copy into them because I think um, as teachers you can use them um, for students and stuff so I'm glad you, you're you gonna get to enjoy it um, definitely we'll make it out to Tom um, let me see let me see here perfect I'm just gonna edit something I'm just gonna leave a note I will be making it out to Tom. Thank you, Tom, for your purchase. Glad you could take advantage of the stream code. Um, anyone else watching, take advantage of the stream code. It's only going to be available for 10% off with the stream code. That's not spam. Any questions? Questions, comments, concerns? What do you guys got? What do you guys? What 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 questions do we have here? I'm ready to answer them. Any hacks for screwing on a bell? Um I like to put my hand like all the way in like like that It'll look, and then you line it up with the bell and then twist it. Don't hold the edge of the bell and twist it on. That's how you strip the the that's how you strip the um grooves, which is not a good time. So make sure you put your hand in and usually pops in and screw it on. Um don't put oil on the don't put oil on the um screws is what I've been told. And it makes sense because it will build up a gunk and then it'll get stuck. And you don't want your bell to get stuck on your screw bell because that defeats the purpose. Playing French horn with braces is harder than hard. Oof, I feel for you. I've never had to play with braces, but it. I've seen people adapt to it and do very well for themselves. But then you have to relearn pretty much everything once you get them off. So I really feel for you. And if you can do it, then... I cannot, I can't even, I can't be, I can't do it. So you, you, you're killing it. Shout out to dental care. Any questions, comments, concerns? We're getting up to five minutes here, folks. We're getting up to five minutes. So I will be ending the stream at about an hour, which is coming up in, in five minutes and 30 seconds. Not that I'm counting too hard, but. Uh, the video version of this will live on YouTube for maybe a few hours uh, while I make lunch and stuff, and then I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna remove it uh, because then the uh, the stream code is just for you guys. For those of you who want to watch, get your your questions in now. I'm happy to answer anything. It doesn't have to be about the horn warm up book. Um, let me know what questions you have, and I'll be happy to answer them. Um, what oils do I use on my horn? I use Fat Cat Valve Oil. Um, I really like it. It's pink, which is fun. But it lasts, if you're playing a lot, it lasts about a week, which is great. You can oil every day if you just put a drop in. Or you can put in a little bit more, and then it works for the week. Um, how do how often do I wash my horn? Uh, <laughs> probably less than I should. Um, maybe once a year. But I'm not playing nearly as much as I used to. And when I was playing a lot, I was doing it once every six months. And maybe sometimes even more than that. Um, thanks for all your questions. This is really... I, I really appreciate that you, you asked a lot. I don't know how to pronounce your username. So I'm not going to say it. But you know who you are. And I appreciate you. Thank you for asking so many great questions. Um, anyone in the YouTube chat, if you got any last minute questions, I'm here for you. Anyone uh, on Instagram, last questions, last call, last call for the questions. 
Um, I'll make sure to get to them because we got five minutes. Instagram gets to see those before YouTube does, which is funny. Um, hello, thank you for coming, Mut Music Borders LV. Thanks for joining the chat. Oh, he's got a question, or she. I don't know who that is, but we got questions coming in, folks. We got questions. I got answers. There's no question. Oh, no. How to get started with videos. Oh, that's a perfect question. If you have a phone, then just post videos there. Um, post videos from your phone. Um, just make make whatever makes you happy. Um, if you want to make horn videos, just start playing horn, posting a video. It doesn't have to be very complicated. My first video, I removed it because it sucked. Um, but just just start start wherever you want to start my my first video was like actually really bad like embarrassingly bad um so it doesn't live here because i I'm, and when i posted i knew it was bad but I, it wasn't supposed to be a channel at that point so just just start making videos and if you, the videos are making you happy an audience will follow that's what um i've always kind of preached and i think that's what you will find as well is the more you make videos and the more you're happy about it um the more you'll find the audience that works for you and likes to share what you like. Um, thank you for coming, Sebastian. Thank you for uh, your questions as well. <laughs> my notes are hard, but my orchestra knows it, so they don't look up at my notes. Yeah, I feel you. Some, uh, the orchestra will get a feel for like, oh, man, that, that is just a hard note. Practice it. We'll get there. No one, No one's judging here. A company posted a horn video to promote their brand. What? That's weird. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know how you get it removed. If they're stealing your content, that's not cool. Ask nicely for like a million dollars or something. <laughs> I don't know. All right. A couple more minutes and then I am going to head out to give you guys back your life. Um... My G with thumb trigger doesn't sound the same as G with the first trigger. Uh, G with thumb. I don't know what that means. G, like the high G, um, should s it'll sound a bit different. It'll sound a bit um sharper if you're using thumb for the top g and f is what i assume you're saying f um the f open f horn high g it'll it'll sound better on b flat if your horn isn't tuned right it'll sound different um so if your b flat side isn't level with like isn't in tune with your f side it'll sound different that'd be the only thing i can think of question mark um yeah if anyone else has any questions we are wrapping up the stream, so get your stream code discount now because it'll be disappearing soon. As soon as I as soon as I end the stream, I will be removing that discount code. So if you want to buy the, uh, if you want to pick up the horn book, speak now because it will be disappearing soon. Uh, not the book. The book will be staying. The book will be staying. The coupon code stream will be leaving soon. Um, what's a good starter microphone? Ooh, good question. The SM57. Let me double check that that's the microphone. It's about a hundred bucks. Um, but that's pretty cheap, um, uh, relative to the, um, to microphones on the market. Like the one I'm talking into is like $500, which is bonkers. Yeah. The Shure SM57 is a beast of a microphone. It's the one Chris Bill recommended to me when I started making videos and it's just an indestructible microphone. That's great. Um, the discount code is 10%. Um, if you use this discount code stream, which is S T R E A M on the, uh, store that the horn warm up book is being sold. And it'll be available there. Um, until I end the stream, because that's what I set it on. And I'm I'm so thankful for those of you um, 
who bought the book. I want to thank you. And I'll be ending the stream now. I hope you enjoy. Some people are answering the G question on YouTube because I didn't really understand what he was saying. <laughs> okay. Enjoy. Enjoy your day, folks. Enjoy If you've purchased the Horn Warm-Up book, thank you for your purchase. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Please make sure you send me a message on Instagram if you have any questions whatsoever. Um, other than that, enjoy. Cheers. Let me end that one. And YouTube, it's been a real pleasure. Um, I'll see you in the next stream if you have any questions again. Maybe send me a DM on, on Twitter. Or not on Twitter, but on Instagram. Don't send me it on Twitter because I will not. <laughs> I never go on Twitter. Um, send me a comment on a video, comment on an Instagram post, and I'll make sure uh, you guys get it. All right. Perfect. Super. Duper. Thanks for coming. We're going to end. End stream.